Um, I would really say that um, it really helped me out to be a lot more grateful for what I have. Uh, it was a humbling, a very humbling um, scenario going over there, seeing how people survive off literally nothing, off trash. And uh, I mean, uh, we gave out when we went to restaurants and different things. We uh, we saved every bit of food that we didn't eat and gave it to people on the street. And I mean, just the the fact that we um, over here, we just take everything for granted, you know, not having nice shoes, but you got 20 pair in the closet. So it was just kind of a a feeling that that. Uh, that we're just so ungrateful. And like the guys, one guy asked me, he's like, how much do you pay for your tattoos? And I was like, I didn't even want to say the price because I was like, man, like, just how much I spent on that, like 600 bucks. And so, you know, I just, it's really a, a humbling situation. And uh, as a team, you know, I feel like we should be grateful just to have an opportunity to, to get a free education and um, to have the opportunity, like, to, to be in such a, a great situation, you know, playing football, getting an education. And because uh, a lot of those people over there don't have the opportunity to get an education for free, and they don't or just don't have the opportunity, and um, so you know I, I feel like it's a we're at an advantage over here, a great advantage. Yeah, I, I do plan on going back. Uh, I want to go back next year if possible. Uh, if everything goes right, you know I like to go back and uh, you know give some more. I I really didn't. Yeah, yeah, I really didn't have a lot to give. I when I um, when I was leaving, I just gave. A lot of my clothes. I pretty much gave a lot of my clothes away that I that I left with. I mean, I brought over there, and uh, I gave them to our driver and uh, a couple to this other um, boy that I met. And uh, you know, I felt I felt great after doing it. And um, cause I mean, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, it would be better if I go over there and do it myself, cause you never know where like the money and stuff might go. So I want to go back, definitely go back and uh, you know contribute as um, fast as possible. I feel like they would they would really. Uh, Appreciate to see my face again. Yeah. How, how has Coach Stoops like captivated the fan base? Talk a little bit about the energy you guys have in your corner for this upcoming year. Um, man, he's really uh, he took he took the fan base by storm. I feel like he um, he came in first of all the first meeting. Well, like when he first got there, we had like a like a uh, meeting at our our indoor facility. It was open for the public and different things like that. And uh. No, he, right off the bat, he said he wanted to win, uh, wanted to get up to the SEC championship, wanted, wanted to win big games, um, not just just uh, out of conference games. We're not focused on that. We want to win, win SEC games, and that's what he harped on the whole time. And uh, you know, we were kind of looking at him like, okay, but uh, you know, he he stuck to that. He stuck to that plan, and uh, he's still sticking to that plan. And uh, that's what he's focusing on right now, just uh, winning big time games. And uh, that's what I really love about him is his confidence, and he brings that with his staff as well. That uh, that 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 we gotta win big time games, and uh, that we have the ability to win big big time games with the talent that we have. So we got great guys that can play. Uh, we just gotta we just gotta put it together.